the baptism of fire with the bondservant of Christ, John Enosike. <laughs> You want to host the move of God? You're going to find men who hosted that move. Men who walked in that move you must capture their spirits for that purpose to be entrusted into your hands. Let me give you a scripture. Jeremiah, before I formed thee, I knew thee. Before that comes out of your mom's womb, I have ordained you a prophet. I have given you a purpose. And for the sake of that purpose, here is the spirit of who you must host. The one that had interacted with me in Zion before he was transported into your vessel. Jesus was the human vessel that will host Christ. He had to be born, developed, trained, learned to obedience through what he suffered, protected by his parents, spanked, taught. At the age of 12, he was at the temple asking questions from doctors and philosophers, learning. He increased in wisdom. He increased in the knowledge of God. He increased in favor with God and with man. He grew. He was nurtured because a time is going to come when he will finally host the second person of the Godhead. Mantles are in the atmosphere. Spirits of just men, but perfect are in the atmosphere. The fate of Paul has is kept is, is here. God's purposes are hanging in the atmosphere, waiting for you to possess, to host the spirits of men met perfect that hosted those purposes prior to your time. The footprints are there. The history is there. The book has the record of how they lived their lives. Will you be used of God? Will you be used of God? Will you be used of God? Most of you don't know. I won't tell you all the spirits that I host. I won't speak of the Old Testament. Let me speak of the one you, you know. Currently, not one just want to tell you who hosted the spirit of Hagen. How many of you know E. Hagen? I have his spirit. You don't know. I be. I met him in the realms. I traveled. I met E. W. Kenyon. Also has a spirit. He came to me and gave me a book. He said, Take my revelation to the next level. That's the book. I met E.W. Kenyon in my country. When I was in the middle of my December prayer and fasting. Because I read his book and it read me. E.W. Kenyon? I read his book until his book read me. If you come to my chef, he's there. I, I so prayed. E. W. Kenyon came to me. I saw him. He gave me the mantle to write, the mantle to access deeper revelation beyond what he wrote. When I met E, when, when I hosted the spirit of E. Hagen, this was either two or three years after he had passed his mantle was hanging in the atmosphere I was praying for the mantle one day I was in a vision I was taken out of body experience I found myself I looked I saw 
I saw Kenneth Copeland. I saw uh, Casey Price before he passed. Casey then. This was happening many years ago in my country. I think that was 20, 20, 2005, a couple of years ago. I saw Casey Price. I saw different, even men of God from my country, big, big ones flying in. Some came with the entourage. Some came with, with their protocols. Some came with their private jets. I was, I was so sig insignificant. I was, I was like, I was nothing. I was more or less like standing like a housemaid watching them. I was, the way these guys came, they were in their suits. Powerful clean suits. They were walking in. They entered the room where Kenneth Hagen was lying. He was about to pass. But he had passed on. He's passed on. But in the vision, he, had, he hadn't passed yet. In the rain, the mantle was still alive. It has not been handed over. So he was still alive. In the spirit realm. So this man, they walked in, looked at him. Because he wasn't talking. He was like, they were waiting for him to like give up the ghost. So he wasn't looking at it. He didn't know anybody. He wasn't talking to him. He was just lying. So, I saw this man of God. They came, they walked, they left. But they had paid their last respect. So I was far. So I was trying to peep in. I couldn't go in because I was nothing to compare with these guys. And suddenly, I didn't know what happened. Suddenly, I had the speed of the spirit, the transportation of the spirit. <laughs> the speed of light I found myself in the room alone with him this was after everybody had come in and watched and, and looked and watched and went I went there I sat by the bed this way and looked at him this way he was lying on this section so when I sat down immediately he stood halfway halfway and took and drew me when he drew me this my two fingers this one and two fingers pierced through his eyeballs and went deeply this stands for apostle and prophet and it went straight into his what? Eye. And it went deep. But he drew me to himself. And then he put his head on my head. And he says, the spirit of the Lord rest upon you. And he died. And then wait, wait a minute, wait. Then I heard the voice echoed twice. No, three times. It echoed Three times. The Spirit of the Lord rest upon you. The Spirit of the Lord rest upon you. The Spirit of the Lord rest upon you. Then I screamed in that dream, that, in that vision. I said, Why me? It went like a reward. Why me? Tearing. And immediately, I was transported back to my body. Samarina, Samarina, Radina, Samarina, 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 Samarina,